<laughs> hey guys, it's John at Simply Sprouts and it's June 13th and uh, I realized today that my zucchini plants, my seeds weren't going to come up. Um, it had been almost two weeks now and hope against hope they weren't. So I actually went out and bought some zucchini plants for my, uh, for, for my farm here and so now we've got plants out here that are susceptible to the dreaded squash bug. So today we're talking about lantern clochets or cloaks or however you want to call it, but we're talking about them, C-L-O-C-H-E. Stay tuned, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Okay, so I call this a lantern cloche because that's what the box says here. Easy lantern cloche. So um, that's actually a foreign language one, but there it is. It comes in a box like this. Okay, and really what this is designed to do, you can see the picture here on the front of the box, it goes down to the ground. They have a uh, sides to it you can get separately but I did not get this I got this from uh, seed um, greenhouse megastore many years ago and uh, I've already put one up but really what this is designed to do is to keep the bugs from getting in the webbing around it is so small that uh, you, you can't you can't get the bugs can't get through the other problem is that the bees can't get in either so when these get older, if the wind doesn't self-pollinate, doesn't help pollinate, we'll uh, have to take a top off. But at least the plants will be established then and not susceptible to getting hit hard by, uh, by the squash bugs early on. I've already seen two squash bugs out here. And one thing you remember when, you, when you're dealing with squash bugs is when you kill them, don't squish them. Put them in some water. I actually had a, a soda bottle with me, so I... Uh, put them in that um, for one and fed the other one to the chickens so they enjoyed a little snack there but um, don't squish them because that attracts more for whatever reason so let's get this uh, this set up the other thing you're gonna need if it doesn't come with the kit you get is you're gonna need some stakes to hold it at the bottom so that's it let's get let's get rolling okay so I got it out of the box here it's been in the box for uh, with three four years and I've forgotten how easy these are to take out and get together You'll see there's some uh, wire inside these and then there's a little hook at the bottom here uh, Yeah, there it is. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook your uh, These things here To the four sides and just get them get them tight. So let me get that done All right, so what I did here and again, there's probably a different kinds out there, but um, so I'm doing this by myself. I just got these two sides started. I put them in the ground. Didn't didn't sense the pegs into the ground yet, because then I went to the other side and did that, and now you can see it's not taut. So I'm gonna pull this side back and get it all taut. Okay, this is literally taking me less than five minutes, and you'll see. Uh, on the sides here those bugs can crawl right under there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
mound up a little dirt so they can't they can't get in and uh, as long as the wind doesn't blow it away and we've had some storms take a look at the first one I've done over here uh, it hasn't gone anywhere uh, I think we're all right all right let me show you how I'm doing this so what I'm doing my foot is taking my foot and putting it down on the ground so the stuff is on the ground all right and then you take a little shovel full of dirt here and cover up. And I know somebody's going to probably post to see a weed in there, but I'll get that out at some point. But anyway, you're trying to make it so there's no way they can get in. They can't dig, so there you go. All right, there you have it. So, got it buried around. Either probably tomorrow. It's getting late tonight. I come back out here with the hose and hoses down I want to make sure the sides uh, nothing gets exposed when it rains so this dirt remains somewhat intact here but uh, there you have two lantern close cliches whatever so come on squash bugs try to try to break in I dare you one other thing I'll point out is on the very first one I uh, use these wooden stakes. You don't need the wooden stakes. I mean, I'd forgotten how to do this, and there's no instructions um, that I kept with the box. So, um, you, but you don't need the stakes. You can see right here, I didn't use stakes this time. Now remember, you probably want to try to try to put two um, mounds together so you can get two in there, um, and that works out really nicely. Also, make sure to, unlike a lot of things in this world. <laughs> This uh, cloche, lantern cloche, um, the box, it actually fits back in. So you want to keep that so you can slide it back in when you're done. Um, and it's worked out really well. It's been sitting in my garage for a few years. But uh, the idea is just to make sure that no insect can get in here, but sunlight and rain can. So that's, um, that's certainly uh, what you want to do here. And, um, keep that going. This is some of our new flowers we just put in. It's stuff called Speed Right, and this is literally the first time I've seen it without uh, a bee on it. It's, it is getting late, but um, bees tend to love, absolutely love anything purple around here in Central Virginia. Here's another one. But, uh, these are the same beds we use to put potatoes in there you have it lantern cloche or cloak or whatever it is all right so that's how you do that now I know you're gonna say well I can't find that they don't sell those things anymore it's a different kind that's out there I have looked at new kinds that are out there be very careful and make sure you don't get ones that are just for you know like starters in the winter um i see some that are only 18 inches tall that's not going to be tall enough you're going to want to keep your plants in here for a lot longer than uh 18 inches and the way we make our rows and stuff i mean it would the plants would be touching the top within a week or two so you definitely want what's called a giant um, which is what this one is so but other people will say well you know i don't have i don't have that fancy stuff like uh uh, be able to get that what can I just make my own and yes there is a way to make your own so stay tuned for that we're gonna do that's probably our next video we're gonna do is how to make your own cloche so stay tuned for that this is John at Simply Sprouts Farm if you like our videos please subscribe to our channel and you have questions or comments please direct them below we try to answer all the questions and comments we get and um, if you have any other suggestions for us, you know, please bring them on. We're trying to help people, but we don't mind being helped ourselves too. So until next time, God bless, stay well, and we'll see you soon.